Hi everyone, this is Somasunda from All About Tech and today let's check out the Opera TV Overs in VU Premium 4K HDR TVs. At first you see tile interface which is very easy to use and looks more premium. It first has notification. In notification tab you can see various notifications and updates. In live TV, you can scan channels either from antenna or cable. In apps, you will have various inbuilt apps. Now let's check out each and everything one by one. First, Netflix. Netflix takes more time to first load. Thus, let's move to the second one. As you can see it takes more time. Now let's start YouTube. Next, AccuWeather. In AccuWeather, you can see various temperature in various cities. Next, Opera TV Overs. This is how it looks. You can search anything. Now let's check whether Amazon Prime is available in Opera TV OS or not. Definitely there is no Amazon Prime videos. It may come in future update from Opera TV Overs. You can see various tabs, new, popular, Movies and TV series. Games. Now let's check out some games. As you can see there is no install option. We have to go to app store and play instantly. You can use your remote to use as a controller.
Now let's check out Red Bull TV. music sports lifestyle technology kids news and weather social as you can see Facebook, but it takes more time to load. This is the only social media app you can see in Opera TV OS. Hand tools. Ted. TEDx has its own app in Opera TV Over Store. You can hear all the TED speeches over here. Twitter, we don't know what app it is, and it's not opening in Opera TV Overs. It says it's currently not available. Now Let's check it once again. Still, it's not available. Tune Google or Tune Goggles. It's a kids app. You can see rhymes and other basic stories or short stories in this app. As you can see, there is advertisement for every video before playing. Each advertisement runs for about 30 seconds. If you want, you can skip it by paying $5 per month. Toon Goggles is one of the best app for kids. It has many stories, rhymes and other activities.
let's move to the next tab aol.video this is a news app it shows all news across the world Then Plex, Yep TV. In Yep TV, you can see live TVs across the world. You can choose your personal language, and it shows all the channels available in that language. As soon as you choose your language, you can see various options like live TV, movies, etc. You need to be signed up for this offer or you can take a free trial. Byaway is a traveling app. You can choose various languages and you can see various times of different cities. IC Flux is an Arabian app. Personally, I don't understand from it. anything from this app, but you can choose languages and you can see various dramas in Arabian language or Urdu. I'm not confirmed about that. Wow TV is another entertainment app which broadcasts its live TV through TV OS. You need to sign up for everything in this app. There is a dedicated game center in this OS. You can see various games, board games, arcade games, puzzle games, etc. Each game has about two to three apps in built. TV browsers also available. Now let's check out our very own website all about tech.in.
the website loads quickly. You can always check various updates about phones and other texts in our website. Now let's check and post. Let's see how it loads and how it looks on a TV. It looks exactly like what we see in our computer. It shows ads and it's very responsive. So don't forget to check our website. We have daily motion. Daily motion is like YouTube. It takes more time to load like Netflix. So let's go to the media. Media is where you can see your connected devices like pen drive, external drives, etc. Now let's check inputs. In inputs you can see TV, NVU cast, HDMI 1234 components and AV. You can rename it at any time. In media it again shows various external devices connected to the system. In settings tab you can see picture. In picture you can see various options like contrast, brightness, dynamic backlight controls etc. In sound options you can see various options like total sonics, total volume, total surround. And you definitely need an external speaker for this TV. Let's on total surround right now. In network tab, you can see various connectiv connectivity options. In channels, you can see tune mode, auto scan, DTV, manual scan, manual scan, etc. In system, you can see languages, time options. System pin, SGMA and CEC, etc. In about TV, you can see system upgrade or restore to factory default. You can also change the name of your TV. At last, edit options. In edit options, you can bring any inputs to the main menu by simply selecting it and dragging it to where we want. You can also bring apps like YouTube which are inbuilt to the main menu of the system. You can even drag the tail to front or to even back. It's that simple. It's very easy and convenient to use. Overall, Opera TV OS is one of the best OS you can see in the TV. But 
it needs some more spe good specifications as your tv lacks big id specification still it looks good but it takes more time to load etc as you can see there's no option for installing the apps in opera tv overs let's hope it comes in the next update of opera tv overs That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for further news about the VU Premium 4K HDR TVs. We have many more videos coming up on your way. Thank you.